Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer at Hawker Systems. In front of me, I have my teacup part and its parent assembly, the teacup set. Now, if you've ever hit save as while you have a parent assembly and a part open, you'll notice that you'll get this save as dialog box. Maybe you might not be familiar with it and you've been saving randomly. Today, we're going to be going over what save as, save as copy and continue, save as copy and open mean and do. So to start off, I'm going to be working out of my teacup and I'm going to change the material from ceramic porcelain to copper. So I'll just select it and apply it. Now I've changed it inside my part and notice how in SOLIDWORKS, as soon as I made a change inside the part, it's been updated inside the assembly and this shows the associativity inside SOLIDWORKS. Now nothing's been saved. So I'm going to click here once again to save as, and I'm going to start off by using save as, and let's see what happens with it. I'm just going to change the name to teacup copper so it can reflect the material that the teacup currently is. Now notice right away that the rename part remained open, the teacup original closed, and over here inside the assembly I have teacup copper now being referenced. So in case that you're trying to make a copy of your part or you're renaming it, just be very careful because if you choose save as, inside the parent assembly it will change the reference. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the material now to aluminum. So just select 1060 alloy. And once again the aesthetic changed inside the teacup copper part and it's been updated inside the assembly. And I'm going to go back to clicking on Save As. And now I'm going to select Save As, Copy, and Continue. And once again, I'll change the name to reflect the material that's being used. So this will say Aluminum. Now notice, the teacup copper part remained open. The reference inside the parent assembly is still teacup copper. And the part that the copy that was renamed is now closed. So if you want to make a copy and remain with the same part open and have references still be from that part that's currently open, this is the way to go. You would select save as and continue. Now, if I click on open, there's the part that I created, the teacup aluminum. It's been copied, it didn't change any references, and I can select it at any other time. Now, if you want to save as and have that new part that you created be open then you would select the save as and open option so i'm going to change once again the material and this time it's going to become a stainless steel and i'll select a chrome stainless steel and again it went ahead and updated the assembly with the change in material i'm going to save as and this time again save as copy and open and this one will be stainless so I know what the material is. So now the teacup stainless part has been opened. And what I'm going to do, in case you ever want to see, you know, all your windows be vertically tiled, you can just click on Windows up here in the standard toolbar. Select Tile Vertically and look at that. Now we have all the different parts opened and the assembly. So here I have the teacup open, I have the teacup stainless. Although the teacup copper might still have the aesthetics of stainless steel, it hasn't been saved, so it has a note. Do I want to accept the change? Would I like to rebuild? Sure. So currently it's accepting the aesthetic. Again, I can always just go back and change this back to copper so we can see a difference. So scroll down to copper. And there it is. The stainless steel part has been opened up. The teacup is here by itself. Although I changed a copper, notice how there was no connection. So it wasn't updated. There was no changes in it. The reference inside the parent assembly remained the same to the teacup copper that it's currently in. In today's video, we were able to learn what it means to use the Save As dialog box and what each one means, right? So now whenever I click on it, 
I can be sure to know that if I choose Save As, it's going to change the references and it will open the new part that was created and close the old one. If I want to create a copy and continue working with the current references, I would select Save As Copy and Continue. If I want it similar again to Save As Copy and Continue, I can select Save As Copy and Open. All that does is that instead of closing the copy that was made, it'll keep it open, but it won't change the references inside the parent assembly. So again, just to reiterate, if you don't want your references changing inside the parent assembly, do not choose Save As while you have your part open next to the parent assembly. Choose the other two options of Save As and Continue and Save As and Open. Thanks again. If you have any other tips and tricks, please make sure to leave it down in the comment section. Why don't you go ahead, give us a like and subscribe, and thank you again.